To help organisations adapt to the changing needs of ageing consumers, AgeLab has created Agnes, the Age Game Now Empathy System. Researcher Hilda Verstadt is going to help me experience life as a senior citizen in the head-to-toe old age suit. OK, so I've got my boiler suit on, so let, let's go. Um, first of all, I'm going to put this um, harness around your waist. Okay. The suit replicates the same mobility and visual difficulties caused by ageing. If you live a sedentary lifestyle, about 10% of muscle mass is lost each year. So what you're setting me up here for is quite a severe restriction. We're going to try, but we can do it. We could do mild, moderate, or severe. Okay. Well, let's be honest, it's already a bit of a pain. The suit features bands that prevent full extension of limbs. Braces mimic joint stiffness, making it hard to walk, and special shoes impede balance. The helmet forces the head forward, replicating the curved spine of an older person, while goggles blur vision. So. You are all dressed up and ready to go somewhere, so why don't you have a true life experience of what it's like to be the compromised elderly? Can you may you, need, you I may need you? your hand, young lady. <laughs> okay. Agnes is being used by major retail chains to help them empathise with the physical limitations common among older consumers as they navigate everyday tasks like shopping. To see this firsthand, I'm undertaking what should be the simple job of buying items typically favoured by older shoppers. You can study a problem intellectually, but until you know it emotionally, that creates inspiration. So part of the problem is I can't see very well. It's not long before the effects of my newly aged vision on the design of product packaging is apparent. I can't read it, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's a turkey club twister. Where does it say that? Turkey club twister, Where right it... there. This says turkey, that's tiny. Yeah. And now yeah. I can see it, turkey club twister. It sounds <laughs> awful anyway. <laughs> so right. I'm not gonna buy that. <laughs> but they should have it in well, bigger, bigger writing, they should have it in bigger writing. <laughs> I think you hit I'm something. Trapped. I don't wanna knock the whole display down. Oh, my goodness. Are you, are you still there? You're not I'm leaving still me. Here. OK, I'm fine. I'm fine. Even when I can see what I'm looking for, something as simple as where products are placed on shelves around the store is also proving a challenge. Oh. I'm assuming that's cat food, but I don't think I can afford to bend down. Something awful might happen. Well, let's give it a go. Hold on a second. Oh my goodness! Oh, get me! The trouble is, yes, that. If you think I'm ever going to get it out of that basket, you're very much mistaken. Now right, we've got the cat food. I just need some spray. It's just some spray. Okay. Okay, let's get bleach. I've got to say, I mean, it is. I mean, it is really quite an eye-opener. Yes. You said it is a different thing to know it and to experience it. Yes. And I've got to tell you, I never a truer word has been said. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's been incredibly physically demanding. Are product designers and companies mm -hmm. actually sending their designers actually using this in an applicable way now? Yes. Yeah, so, for example, there was one company um, who the executives put on the suit yeah. and they went to their own store and shopped their own store and they were very frustrated and very angry. Yeah. And so they're, they're redesigning their stores. So it, it's that type of insight with the people who can make the decisions yeah. that becomes so important. Well, a real revelation. Thank you very much indeed. Let's uh, get my clothes off. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs>